Hi guys, welcome back to Upjada. In the previous one, we saw how to do this uh, persistent store in Svelte and Svelte Kit. Um, now, one thing I forgot is to explain this browser variable and what it does. So, browser is a you know, variable that we get uh, from Svelte, which is true if it is a browser, if it is you know a client or you know, browser, it is false in case of servers. So if I console log here, in the server side, we get this false, all right? But in case of a client in the browser, we get it as true. So that's what browser does, all right? Uh, another question I got is, uh, what if we are gonna use something a little more complex than a string? Uh, something like an object or an array. So if you are using an array, uh, it might still work, but uh, you will have to do a few things. So let's say I have an array here. Orange. Uh, grapes. I have fruits. I'll just uh, quickly rename this to fruits. And here also I will get fruits. Uh, I may not have to show that there. I don't need the input. I just have uh, I have JSON dot stringify around this and I've done what I try. And this is this. Okay, now um, it should show me. Now uh, there can be problem. I mean, it will show, but there can be problems when you try to change it. Like, let's say fruits equals. Let's imagine I'm adding something. Okay, so I'm keeping the spreading the same uh, fruits and then adding something like pineapple. So when I add pineapple here, uh, it adds it up. Uh, let me see the application. Yeah, pineapple is there. Uh, okay, once I refresh, it says fruits is not iterable. So this happens because initially it was false, fruits was false, and it ran this array thing right then. So what we can do is we can use something called onMount. Uh, you will have to import it first, but when you start using onMount, uh, VS Code did it for me. I think it's the plugin I installed called the Svelte syntax or something. So when you do it on one, uh, it it will will do it properly. But you see that there is there is something wrong with how it is storing it. That is because while storing it, you have to you know stringify it, and then while reading it, you have to parse it. So I'll tell you, we are storing it here. So I am gonna stringify so that you know it's not it doesn't get dis you know distorted when we read it and here uh, we have to parse it now maybe it's better if I get this into a new variable something like stored fruits and here also we have to make that check And uh, if you are doing that, you don't have to do that here, I think. So, let's see. Uh, I just delete it. Okay. Right, this is working. So it's added a pineapple without errors. I'll just uh, restart the server as well, just to see whether it works as expected. It's, it's adding uh, pineapple again, that's because what we had stored before already had pineapple, it's adding again. If I restart, it will be three pineapples again. So yeah, so so you can you can write the logic, you know, to uh, get this sorted. Another thing is uh, objects. So I'll just change this to an object and uh, call this mini. Uh, ID. One, two, three. Now we have an object. Now instead of fruits, call this uh, user. So 
also have user here. Let me make this capital. And uh, user. I can have something like an object itself here. So spread operator, you know, works fine in object as well. I will add something like uh, email. Hello. That for that. Oh, sorry. Yep. So we have that here. So it works on object as well. So yes, this is how you use objects and arrays uh, in uh, persistent store. Alright, thanks guys, uh, I'll see you in the next one, bye bye.